Good morning. Hello, this is Thomas from Hummingbird Travel. Uh, it's Monday morning. It's about 6.30 a.m. And I'm shortly going to be taking a transfer out to the outer coral islands of Cosmolido and the Alphons. Um, I'm currently staying at Eden Blue, which is fairly close to the airport, and it's a perfect launch pad to catch a flight, uh, whether it's back home or if it's uh, to somewhere on the outer coral islands. So follow my adventure as it continues this week. Welcome to Cosmolido, and this is my eco cabin. So I'm just gonna let me show you my room. Um, just while I do, I'll show you the view. So this is about as remote as it gets, and this is my eco cabin, which is a shipping container. And this is very much luxury glamping, so it's got air conditioning. It's got a nice outdoor area, and then as we come in, wipe my feet. I've got a double bed here with all my stuff on it, and still haven't unpacked. So you've got a nice big packing area here, and then onto the bathroom, which is very nice. Hello. Finally, the outdoor shower. So it's barefoot, it's rustic, it's definitely it's glamping, but it's super, super cool. So this is Cosmolido, just on a kayaking trip to see the boobies. The ones in the trees are red-footed boobies and they're really chilled out. Not at all bothered by people. And this, uh, this, this place in Seychelles is a bit like, it's, it's known as the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean because it's got maybe up to 30,000 nesting birds on this island. So that's the most in the Indian Ocean. Hello, <laughs> um, my name is Juho, I'm the Activity and Dive Center Manager for Blue Safari Seychelles. We're here on Cosmolido on Grand Palit Island. Um, and as you can see, there's the bird life is, is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, the main attraction is obviously the red-footed boobies that we have absolutely all over the place here. Uh, Grand Palit is, is absolutely covered in the red-footed boobies. We've got the mass boobies and plenty of other seabirds as well. Uh, there's not a lot of places in the world where you can uh, literally walk up to um, this kind of wildlife and, and enjoy this kind of scenery. It's pretty special. Yeah, we able to see some, some land crabs as well in this area over here. Okay. Nice. Thank you. 
So this is Cosmolide. Um, there are different types of luxury. Sometimes luxury might be a large villa with a private lunch pool and a jacuzzi. It might be having an underwater restaurant or Michelin star restaurants or even uh, an underwater room or a water slide. Uh, this is a different kind of luxury and the luxury you find at Cosmolido is a level of exclusivity and privacy that's hard to find anywhere in the world. You also have a pristine ecosystem with incredible bird life and sea life and if you're into fishing this is one of the best places to fish in the world. So it's really really a special place and there are very few places in the world where you can have an entire beach this big all to yourself and there's nobody else around. We're just on a small camp with uh, just a few <laughs> a few eco pods which are very comfortable uh, and that's it this is the only little outcrop on the island um, that has human beings on it. The rest is for the birds. Tricky to get to you have to go take a flight to Alphonse and then take another flight to Astove and then take a boat to Cosmolido but it's well worth coming in if you want to experience this kind of luxury.